Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Firefly. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode four of Firefly. Uh, I know I've only seen three episodes, but I have to say that the last episode was probably my favorite thus far. Um, I loved how it kind of had a lot of the heavy comedy, but also heavy horror elements and kind of infusing those two. Um, but like, obviously the main focus was the Reavers, um, which you don't get a whole lot of information on the Reavers, just kind of like, like uh, one line from Zoe, which was enough. Um, kind of seeing them in episode one flying behind our crew, like with their ship, with like the smoke coming out of their engines, like them being like really quiet as they're like flying by and everything, like just how Jane is terrified of them. Like there's just enough information to know that they are horrible. Um, and, and, and when, when they go on the ship, you know, like they didn't take anything. There's all the supplies that are still in, in the compartments. They didn't take any food. Um, but what they did do was torture a lot of people and left one guy behind and made him watch everything. They are beyond sick. They are, I don't, I don't even know the right word to use for them. Um, I think Book said like that they're barbaric and I think that that's mild for, for what we witnessed, which wasn't a lot. Like the bodies weren't like super, you know, mutilated and they were hanging up. Like I, I keep describing it as like fish on hooks. Like that's what it looked like to me. And it wasn't like overly gory and you didn't really see much of anything, but it was enough because that is just a peculiar way to store dead bodies, right? Like it's just odd and unusual and creepy. And like I said, Jane being terrified says something, but then also Mal, like once he kind of like realizes that it was the Reavers and, and it, he must have seen like the aftermath of a Reaver attack before, or maybe like he just knows really well the tales of it. Like, I feel like he's seen it in depth, maybe not like a one-on-one -on -one interaction with the Reavers, but just enough that it also makes him terrified, but very proactive because as soon as he kind of connects the dots, you know, he seals off the med bay and he's like, tells everyone like death would be better for him than to remember the things that he saw. Um, it, it, it must be absolutely horrifying. And then later on, you know, he is kind of taking over the identity of the Reavers. Like the guy is so mentally scarred from what he was forced to watch that the only way that he can like kind of, I don't, I don't even know, like take away his own pain is to kind of become the Reavers itself. And, and, and if, if he becomes it, then maybe it won't be a memory. It'll just be like, this is his new life. I'm not sure quite what that is psychologically, but that is fucked up. And the fact that River can hear the screaming, the, like, I don't know if she has a telepathic ability. Um, I'm not sure if, if, if she's got a psychic ability, but the fact that she could hear the screaming and that she could, you know, sense ghosts, um, like, uh, like that's like terrifying one because she can connect to it, but then she also has those memories, which I don't think is healthy for her. Cause she also has the memories of the Academy, which we hear Simon and Anara talking about at the beginning of the episode that, you know, she still hasn't talked about it and maybe she shouldn't because it is this traumatic event or maybe she should. So she can kind of get it out of herself and, and stop kind of like holding on to it. It must've been something like super traumatic. Cause we saw a couple scenes where like, it definitely looked like she's being tested on, but that couldn't have just been the totality of everything that she experienced. And it was really interesting that Harkin, when, Mal was like, it was the Reavers. He's like, oh gosh, like it's like the boogeyman that everyone blames everything on to get out of things. Like, oh, all these men are dead. It must've been the Reavers. And I don't want to say that it was satisfying, <laughs> but it was kind of satisfying that when he finally got a face full of the guy and like could see like this, this horrific image of kind of like what maybe the Reavers look like. But this guy did it to himself. Like, that's not what he looked like when we saw him originally. So the madness that's inside of his head made him do that to himself, made him mutilate himself. And Harkin kind of being faced with that was enough to scare him to just let everyone go, blow up the ship. Let's delete the logs. No one saw nothing. Let's move on because I know I don't want to think about it anymore. Now, I will say that like um, hiding River and Simon on the outside of the ship, genius, genius. I thought they were just going to shove them in a hole. Um, but they also, someone pointed out in the comments, um, I, I think it was on Patreon, that they also took the play settings away 
off the table. So like where it was set for everybody plus River and Simon, they took that away. So it wasn't like, oh, there should be two more people sitting at this table. Very smart. Mal is just, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's the whole crew, not Jane, but the whole crew going, let's make sure that it's not obvious that they were here. And like, let's put all of these supplies out front. So you can be like, look at these, look at these. No, there's no people on the outside of the ship. Don't look out the windows. <laughs> Later on, we see Harkin questioning Inara, and she kind of brings up the fact that the ship's name is Serenity, and it's named after Serenity Valley. And Harkin brings that up later to mock Mel, kind of like, oh, you named your ship after the wrong side. And Mel's like, well, it was the losing side. I'm not convinced it was the wrong side. Um, I love that comeback, because it's just kind of like, just because we lost doesn't mean we weren't right. I would also say, um, don't call Serenity junk. Because Kaylee going to come get you. That's her ship and she's very proud of it. And it runs very well because of her. We saw her, you know, unhook everything uh, from the, the, the booby trap. And, you know, it was very satisfying seeing that out of her. Anara, actually, uh, it was like kind of brought up that like she kind of brings respectability to the ship. Um, that it kind of gives them like uh, other doors that normally would be closed to them. They're opened because she's on this ship. Um, I wasn't quite aware of like what a companion is or what they do. And um, thank you for everyone that kind of explained that they're like kind of highly respected, um, almost kind of like well-educated, well-trained. They're kind of like geisha. Um, and and uh, I guess she's kind of high class. <laughs> it classes the joint up a bit, I guess. Zoe was very protective of Wash, not wanting to reveal anything about him or their marriage. Um, and Wash, uh, he about that donk. He loves his wife's peach, as we learned. <laughs> he was so ready to talk about that. He's like, my wife, let me tell you about that ass. <laughs> I enjoy Wash. All of his humor from like, who's flying the ship? You know, and just some of the faces that he makes when he's just kind of like, oh, that's going to happen. Like, I, I thoroughly enjoy Ellen Tudyk anyway, but uh, I like the character that he plays in here as well. Uh, Jane was a man of like zero words, just kind of like forced me to say something. I dare you. It's, it's, it's just quite wonderful how he is so scared of the Reavers. But when it comes to the Alliance, he's like, nah, <laughs> I love that about him. And Buck was really good about not saying anything, um, whether it was giving away anything about River or Simon, about Persephone, but like, he's definitely part of our crew and he's very loyal to our crew. And I like that our crew, like they just kind of showed their loyalty to one another. Uh, it was fantastic. Now I know that this episode is called Shindig and I'm really excited because that leads me to believe that there's a party. At least there better be a party because Unless, like, you start naming episodes like everyone dies in this episode and then no one dies in this episode. Um, I'm, I'm very upset if there's not a shindig, if there's not a party, if there's not a rave. If there's not something going on in which people are having a good time. And it's funny because with the setting of the show, I just think about, like, a Western shindig and all that comes to mind is ZZ Top and Doc Brown. Sounds like a good time. <laughs> okay guys let's get into this episode uh i'm i'm ready to have a good time because i don't think they're gonna do two horror episodes uh in a row so let's let's party <laughs> i guess let's get into it and if you are new to the channel i'm introducing you to reactions with rose if, uh you watch any of my expanse reactions some rosé was had. It's always, it's always the 19 crimes, Snoop Dogg, Cali Rosé, yum yum. <laughs> okay guys, now let's get into it. Don't even need more rations. Oh, electric pool? I'm not upset. I mean, they are. Not, not responsible for ball failure. <laughs> it's literally just a regular pool game, but they just added sound effects. There's a chance you might want to head back to the ship. I'm all right. This is entertaining, actually. He's going to get yeah. into a fight. Might have to clear up before too much longer. Seems there's a thief about. Thief? Took this right off. Oh, he's the thief. He earned that with the sweat of your slave trading brows. Now. 
terrible shame. <laughs> of course, they won't discover it until they go order the next round of drinks. Way. Good drinker, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be right if we didn't start the episode off with a fight. <laughs> the cigar is still in Jane's mouth. <laughs> I'm still free. You can't take the sky from me. The tone is really hard for me to sing, but I still like it. And if you've selected my proposal to hear, then the honor you do me flatters my my honor. Wow, man of smooth words. <laughs> now there's the smile made of sunlight. Atherton, what a flattering invitation. I had no idea I was arriving in time for the social event of the season. So, the shindig. Accompany me. I'll see you soon, Bobby. Bobby. Something there. He has engaged me for several days. Days? Boy must have stamina. He does. What a weird conversation. Still trying to figure them out. I, can't, I don't know if he's like jealous or if he likes her, if they kind of like each other, but like she's got a job and he's a captain. Conflict of interest. Hey, look at the fluffy one. Too much fufara. If I'm gonna wear a dress, I'm gonna wear something with some slink. You want a slinky mm -hmm. dress? I can buy you a slinky dress. Captain, can I have money for a slinky dress? <laughs> I'll ship it. I can hurt you. <laughs> What are you gonna do in that rig? Blouse around the engine room? You're like a sheep walking on its hind legs. Be nice. <laughs> yeah, go say you're sorry, dick. <sighs> yeah, you messed up. Is she mad or something? Of course, Jane wouldn't get it. <laughs> you doofus. Captain, buy her that dress. You almost have to now. Badger, Captain Reynolds. Oh, that hat. Heard you was in town. Thought we might have a bit of a sit down. Prefer a bit of a piss off. <laughs> this ain't bad. Another stupid hat. There's a trick to it. I felt you was. Smart. Pretentious. Exactly. You think you're better than other people. Wow. That a thinking cap he's got on? No place it'll be. Safe place. Wouldn't let me in there. The shindig? You might slip it. Of course, you couldn't buy an invite with a diamond the size of a testicle. I got my hands on a couple. Is there a small testicle joke there? Of invites. <laughs> Atherton Wing and Inara Sarah. She looks stunning. Not Doc Brown and ZZ Top, but I'll take it. Very Bridgerton, but in the West. Half the men in this room wish you were on their arm tonight. Only half. I must be losing my undefinable allure. <laughs> oh, it's not that undefinable. All of them wish they were in your bed. Uh, and all the men wish you were in their bed. So romantic. You got a dress hey. for her? Kaylee! Where's dress? Not speaking to you, Captain. Got no need to speak. Come on, got a job for you. Girl, go put on your pretties! I'm trying to offer you something you know. A life. She has a life. If you want it. You can live here on Persephone as my personal companion. Hmm. Slave. Miss K. Winnet Lee Fry, an escort. Kaylee? <laughs> look at her. Look at him. <laughs> well, look at her. Gossip. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy the captain did that for her. Like, granted, I know he's trying to get a job, but still. She's so happy. 
Oh, my face hurts from smiling. <laughs> I'm so happy for her. Does this seem kind of tight? Show us off your backside. You just hit the chandelier. Mm, it's turn around. Let's all take a look. Do that, I wonder. These girls have the most beautiful dresses. So, so do you. you. Oh, yeah. yeah just be careful. We should badger out a good money to buy that frippery. And you're supposed to make me look respectful. Yes, sir, Captain Tight Pants. <laughs> we should look for her, right? Just to say hello at her. I hope we see her. I think she's wearing gold. He remembered what color she was wearing? Hmm? Maybe you won the Miss Persephone pageant. Just help me look. <laughs> Is that him? That's the buffet table. Well, how can we be sure? Uh, unless we question it. Yeah, go over there, girl. Get yourself a snack. Fine, don't make yourself sick. <laughs> <laughs> it don't get anything on your dress. They're playing a card game? Ante up, gentlemen. Garbage. You're betting for chores. I would never do that. Uh, River, what are you doing? Me too. Girl, they need to know what's in those. What is she doing? Don't ruin all their food. She didn't harm much. We'll have a few mystery meals. Sometimes they're It's okay. It's okay. I really wish that they would explain her a little bit more because she kind of comes off as annoying. <sighs> mm. Oh, I thought it was Inara and, and I Atherton. Don't want to What's spend his face? More time off shift this visit. I like our party better. The dress code's easier, and I know all the steps. <laughs> <laughs> You're acting mm. captain. Know what happens? You fall asleep now. Jane slits my throat and takes over. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I love that. Here lies my beloved Zoe. Mm. Somewhat less attractive now that she's all corpsified and gross. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. They're like butterflies or little pieces of wrapping paper blowing around. Oh. Girl, I'd hang out with you any day. I'll be your wing woman. We'll find you a good one. I just love this party. <laughs> it's not as good as last year. Oh, really? What did they have last year? Standards. Who made your dress, Kaylee? Oh, mean Girls. Like when I saw the On other planets. Just, couldn't resist. You ought to see to your girl. She's not very good. She made you a dress that looks like you bought it in a store. Oh. I didn't know. Ooh. Why, Banning Miller, what a vision you are in your fine dress. You must have taken a dozen slaves a dozen days to get you into that getup. Hmm. Of course, your daddy tells me it takes the space of a schoolboy's wink to get you out of it again. I'm not upset about that. <laughs> Who's this? I like him. How about that floating chandelier? Almost outshines our girl here. Hey. Um. Ah. That grip is not okay. Unhand her. Oh, God, that grip he had on her. Say no, say no, say no, say no, girl. You're a brave man. I know it's mine. She's not yours. She's not yours. I see Kaylee's here. You should have seen her when I told her she could have that layer of cake she's wearing. <laughs> I think she looks adorable. Yeah, but I never said it. <laughs> I'm not saying the 804 is hard to repair. It just ain't worth it. It's a fine machine. You Look at her surrounded by men. Miss Kelly, I wonder if I could request... Wait a minute, let her talk. She's talking. By the way, the 8010's the same machine. They just changed the plating. Hope no one noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for her! Ooh, Atherton. Jealousy does not look good on you. Oh, no. Watch yourself. No need for hands-on. She's mine. Yours. I should not belong to nobody. Thank you. Money changed hands, which makes her mine tonight. No matter how you dress her up, she's still. It's not ownership. Thank you, Mal. Turns out this is my kind of party. <laughs> wow, Mal's out of line. I accept. That's great. What? Yeah. There has been a challenge. I hope you're prepared, Captain. Is it to the death? Are you all talking about a fight? Well, that's fine. Let's get out of here. It's not a fist fight, Mal. 
If you require it, any gentleman here can give you use of a sword. Use of a sword? <laughs> this one? <laughs> Wait, does he have defense to the death? My money's still on Mal. Wing may be a spoiled dandy, but he's an expert swordsman. Great. He killed a dozen men with a long blade. Great. You're the only one gave him a reason. But you must up Atherton's face, and that has endeared you to me somewhat. <laughs> you might even give him a fight before he guts you. Inara! Oh, Atherton. Oh. Mm. Up until the punching. It's a real nice party. Every party needs punch. Ayo. You get to see a Jane workout. I'm not upset. Take your shirt off. <laughs> It's a joke. Kinda. A duel? With swords? The captain's a good fighter. He must know how to handle sword. Probably not. I think he knows which end to hold. <laughs> oh, God. Jane, I wouldn't. Why not? Yeah. I Jane won't let anything happen to Kaylee. Unless he is mean to her first. Cool. Can yeah. you practice it? I don't know what you got in your head, but I didn't do this to prove some kind of point to you. I actually thought I was defending your honor, and I never back down from a fight. I love that yes, about you him. you do. You do all the time. Well, oh. Yeah, but I'm not backing down from this one. Cool. He's an Yay. expert swordsman, Mel. You had trouble with the pillar. <laughs> Ow. That's why I need lessons. I figure you know how, being such an educated woman and all. Can she fight with a sword? I'd love to see that. What we need is diversion. Oh, do they not know about River? I say Zoe gets naked. Nope. I could get naked. Or River will distract. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. <laughs> Who's that then? Why is she talking? She's got a secret. Yeah, big one. No, I'm sure. Uh... I got a secret. Oh. Go on one. Don't seem likely I'd tell him to you, now do it. Anyone off Titan Colony knows better than to talk to strangers. I love that she just imitated his accent. Nice to see someone from the old homestead. Not really. Ooh. Call me if anyone interesting shows up. <laughs> River coming through. Oh <laughs> I was waiting for her to do something special. Swinging from the shoulder feels stronger. It's also slower, Mal. Mm. You don't need strength as much as speed. It takes less than a pound of pressure to cut skin. Mm. You know that? They teach you that in horror Academy? Whoa. You have a strange sense of nobility, Captain. Yeah. I might not show respect to your job, but he didn't respect you. That's the difference. Oh. Inara, he doesn't even see you. You don't get along with ordinary criminals either, which is why you are constantly getting in trouble. You think following hmm. rules will buy you a nice life, even if the rules make you a slave. That's what I'm saying. Don't take his offer. Nope, girl, don't take it. What? Just in the case that it happens, it means he's a fellow who killed me. And I don't like fellows that killed me, not in general. Anyways, don't. Yeah, don't. He likes you. Need to get back. Well, that was a nothing lesson. Don't swing from the shoulder. Poke, elbow, not always from the shoulder. He needs a lightsaber. Well, this is pretty. What a great place to die in. Oh! Be careful, Ath. Here, these things are sharp. Mm. He thinks he's doing well, doesn't he? Yeah. What's he doing? Don't fall for that. Uh, 
This isn't going to take long, is it? <coughs> Excuse me. We're coming up on the end, Miss. You might not want to watch. Yeah, it's looking pretty lame for you, Mel. Inara, please grab a sword Everything, and do something. Wait. I I'll stay here. Exclusive to you. Just let him live. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. He Mel doesn't want that. Okay, I like that. Oh! He's down. I don't mind that. You have to finish it, lad. He has to kill him? 100% to the death? For a man to lay beaten and yet breathing? It makes him a coward. Love it. I love that for him. Sure. I love that. It would be humiliating. Mercy is the mark of a great man. Sure is. Oh. Oh. Guess I'm just a good man. Oh. Well, I'm all right. <laughs> I would have thrown that further away. Atherton can come after you for sure. You set this up, Paul. I'll see to it you never work again. Actually, that's not how it works. You see, you've earned yourself a black mark in the client registry. No companion is going to contract with you ever again. I love you don't that. You'll have to rely on your winning personality to get women. God help you. Time to switch the sheep. <laughs> you willing to fight that hard to protect my property? I'll have it in your hold before midnight. All right. <laughs> Mighty fine shindig. Mighty fine. <laughs> he left us some holes. We're ready to move on your signal. Doc is the diversion. Mal is coming back. Don't do this. Did you ever see such a lazy crew? It's Captain. You're hurt. We was just about to spring into action, Captain. Complicated escape and rescue up. I was gonna watch. It was very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I adore Wash. Aww. I like her room. Aww. Look at her with that dress. <laughs> Are you guys besties now? Are you in pain? Absolutely. <laughs> I got stabbed, you know, right here. I saw. I wasn't gonna stay, you know. Why is that? Oh, someone needs to keep Kaylee out of trouble. And all my things are here. Mm-hmm. Right. Besides, why would I want to leave Serenity? Can't think of a reason. <laughs> They got cows. Is that what he's moving to the land? I must have missed that, but I love that for them. I mean, not the poop, but definitely <laughs> that they got the job. A shindig indeed. Um, okay, so Atherton sucks. Um, I'm glad he got what was coming to him. I'm glad that he kind of lost the fight as a coward. Um, I'm not upset. And I, I really... Mm, so, like, Mal is, like, a good man, but he still likes thieving, and he still likes crime, and he still is going to get into a brawl, and he's always going to defend a woman's honor, especially a woman that he loves. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's... It's now kind of confirmed. Like, that last scene, like, confirmation, he is in love with Inara. I just thought, like, he messed with her or, like, I, I wasn't quite sure, like, they had a history or something. Now it's kind of like they're just doing the will they won't they thing, which I generally don't like in shows. But I do like it between them because I, I feel like it's an always, like, won't they? I don't think they will necessarily. But it's like an unspoken love, I guess, for each other. I don't know about her necessarily, but, like, she likes him. She likes him. I, I was, like, a, a fight to the death. A duel to the death over a woman's honor. 
I love that for us. I love that for Mel. <laughs> I love that for Inara. Um, and I was really excited to see her uh, use a sword, but like there wasn't really much that happened there. But I was like, oh, is she trained in that? That's amazing. Uh, I, I We didn't really see much from her, but I'm hoping that that will come back at some point because it seems like she has a lot of training, a lot of schooling. Like there's, there's a lot that she's capable of. Um, she's very well educated. She's very well spoken. Um, and I'm glad she didn't take Atherton up on any offer whatsoever. Not that I thought she was going to, but, you know, like essentially he's like, oh, I, I want you for my sole companion. That's just like another way of saying slave. Like, I want you to, you know, be my arm candy. But like, I don't I don't really want you as my like partner, which is my companion. Um, and I get it like like that she is. um I don't want to say top tier or top of the rung, but like, like she's well known and people like her and they respect her. Um, and now he'll never get another companion. And I love that for him. I love that for him. Hmm. Cause he doesn't have respect, not only for women, but also for companions and what they do. You know, he kind of was just like, yeah, all the men in here like want to sleep with you. And Mel has the same issue of her job and calling her a whore. But he doesn't like her job, but he cares about her. And to where Atherton really likes her job, but doesn't care about her whatsoever. Um, I think that there's a big distinction there between those two men. And I really hate the term whore if that's not really what her job is. I feel like a companion is the, is just that, a companion. It could be your best friend. It could be somebody you confide in. You know, she's she's kind of like the ship therapist a little bit. Like she's even helped book through some of his issues. You know, so it seems like she she has a broader uh, expansion of duty or of 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 just education of her her skill set is wide and vast. Don't take that in the wrong way. Good grief. <sighs> anyway, it was really nice to get a couple different scenes from our people. I mean, Jane working out like you know that's funny. Like he's a meathead. Okay, he's working out. I was like, take your shirt off. I think that that's um, me very used to Amos Burton, just saying. Um, but then also like Wash and Zoe having like their little like romantic moment. Like they're just so cute together. They're just, I love them. I love them together. I love their chemistry. It's palpable. Uh, it's it's definitely wonderful to see. But then also Kaylee, like her, like just like, like, oh my gosh, that dress is so pretty. And it was the ugliest dress at the shindig, 100%. Horrifying. I would never wear a dress that looked like that, but she loved it. And that's all that mattered is that it was beautiful to her. And the captain making fun of her and making fun of the dress, like that was just kind of like, don't be a dick, don't be a jerk. And you could tell that he like felt really bad. Like he could have easily have taken Zoe and given her a nice dress. He's like, I know how I'm going to make this up. I'm going to take Kaylee. And definitely Kaylee being in a completely different setting than what she's used to, you know, like she's trying to talk to people that she normally wouldn't talk to and mean girls. And I hate those people. I hate those people. I love watching people live their lives and truly enjoy their lives. And like, they're happy. And like, that was Kaylee hundred percent. Those other girls were just like making fun of her. And like, that's not cool. Harrow coming into like Kaylee's aid was like fantastic. But then also the whole group of men talking to Kaylee about the ships, like she found like, even though she's in the dress and she's all fancied up, she is still like being Kaylee and she's talking about those things that bring her joy. And I love that for her and I love it for us because like she truly was in her element when she's talking to those men. And none of the women there would have understood that. I mean, I would have been like off to the side going, what's she talking about? That sounds really cool. <laughs> because I also would not fit in with those women <laughs> whatsoever. And I also would have headed over to the buffet table. Like, look, if they had a cheese fountain or even a chocolate fountain, but if they had cheese, that's where I am. That's where I'm going to be. If, if there's cheese or a dog at a party, pretty much I will be at the buffet eating the cheese or I will be in the corner petting the dog. I've met my new best friend. It is what it is. And I really loved that our crew was like ready to like fight to go like save Mal. I love that. Like they were coming up with this whole plan. Obviously, we didn't get to see it enacted. Um, Badger being back. I don't know how I feel about Badger. I hate his hat and I hated Jane's hat. I like there was a lot of talk about me saying that I didn't like the hat that Jane was wearing. And they're like, 
like you need to bookmark and timestamp the fact that you said this. So I did. I don't know what that means other than there's a hat coming up in my future. But Badger being back um, and him kind of like holding our crew hostage, waiting to see what happens to Mal. Um, I, I was kind of annoyed at first and I was like, oh God, like, like, like River's coming and she's going to do something like, like, cause she had just torn all the labels off the food and kind of acted really irrational and crazy. And I was kind of getting annoyed and I'm kind of annoyed with the character a little bit just because I'm like, I want substance from you instead of all this crazy talk. Like, like, and like we get moments of her where it is like very much felt with substance and it's very much like important to the story. And I was like, I don't know what this has to do with what's going on. And then she starts with that accent that sounds just like Badger and is like, perfect. It's enough to charm him. And it's enough for him to kind of go, you know what? I'm not going to investigate her any further. She reminds me of home. Fantastic acting by Summer. Fantastic. Like great accent work. Like I have a hard time with accents. I was going to try to copy it and I, I thought to myself, no, <laughs> don't do that. It'll sound horrible. Well, now we are um, quietly transporting uh, items to Harrow's land, which seem to be cows. I was actually kind of like, oh, they have cows in their ship. Like, that's crazy. And then I was like, oh, that's probably what they're they're moving for him uh, to be uh, uh, off off radar. Secretly. So no one knows. That's interesting. Um, I don't know what that's about. Um, I, I don't, I don't, milk, beef, there's no edible grass on Persephone. I will say though, I was really happy to see a body of water. Um, I was like, what a lovely place to die. Cause it, it, it would have been. Um, but also I'm like, like everything has been so dusty and dry and dirty and gritty that I was just like, oh, well, yeah. Okay. So it's nice when we're talking about rich people. Cool. <laughs> so I don't know what we're uh, going to do next week. Is it dropping off cows? Is it uh, delivering them to the land for Harrow? I'm not quite sure, but I'm excited to see it because this was like such a great episode to just kind of like break up kind of like the horror of last episode. And like now it's like, I don't want to say it was bright by any means because it wasn't, but it, it was just a nice change. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the next episode. But if you'd like to watch the full length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon link down below. You can watch the full length. You will need your own copy, but also you'll get up to one episode early. So head over there now if you want to see it before everybody else on YouTube. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I think my favorite part of the entire episode, which is hilarious for me because I do not wear dresses. I do not get fancy. Um, but it was Kaylee and like that whole moment and, and, and Nara and, and, and Mal coming to her defense to fight for her honor. Kinda. Still called her a whore. We gotta stop doing that. Uh, but, but I, I definitely, well, like, what was your favorite part of this episode? Cause I was super excited about a shindig. I was like ZZ Top, Doc Brown, and it was way fancier than I expected it to be. I'm not mad at it though. Just had to finish the wine. I don't know if the rosé added to the reaction or not, but um, it's always fun to have a good time while we're watching a fantastic show. But guys, I'm excited for next week. This show, like, I mean, I know I'm only four episodes in, but it hasn't been disappointing once. And I can't believe that there's only one season and not even one season, like half of one season. They messed up. They messed up bad. The show is amazing. I can't wait for next week. So guys, come back here. For episode five. And I'll see ya. And I still have some rosé, so I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> All right, guys. Later.